Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and today I am having a look at the Sims 4 Toddler Stuff trailer. This dropped last night on uh, the Sims YouTube channel I think it dropped on. So this is the trailer for Toddler Stuff. If you guys have watched my top 5 things that I want next in the Sims 4, you will know that I've been waiting for this stuff pack forever. Since toddlers pretty much came to The Sims 4, I've been like, we need more toddler stuff! And now we're getting a full stuff pack dedicated to it, which is coming out the 24th of August, I'm fairly sure. So what I'm gonna do is run through the trailer, obviously without music, because of copyright and all of that, um, and then I'm gonna do it like frame by frame and talk through it with you guys. Not gonna lie, I have seen the trailer already, so this isn't like a first look reaction, this is just letting you guys know that this is dropping and kind of discussing what I think objects are and things like that with you and if you didn't know that it was dropping, now you know. So here we go, we got some very adorable toddlers. The Sims 4 toddler stuff. Loads of new objects in this, which I'm very surprised about. Considering it's a pack based on toddlers, I'm surprised there's this many like objects for like older sims as well. <laughs> All these toddlers are so cute. I see a new hairstyle on this one right here. Um, and then like I said, loads of new objects. Like look at that, that is crazy. That curly hair and those braids are my favourite things, I think, about this whole trailer. The little curls are adorable. So, dress in adorable apparel. I see a void critter up there. Jump into some fun. We get a ball pit for toddlers and host playdates, which is awesome. So there we go, Sims 4 toddler stuff. Available August the 24th. So that is the right date, I got it correct. There's also a link to like thesims.com uh, to check out what else is coming in the pack as like a written rundown. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do like frame by frame and see what we are working with here. So this is obviously the ball pit. Uh, new hairstyle for the little girls, probably for little boys as well. Um, bunches and some bows, which is very cute. Also a new... Um, <laughs> this is adorable! Loads of new, what are they called? Dungarees for the kids, which you guys know I recently changed my name to the Dungarees Simmer when I got my hands on some dungarees myself, so I approve of this. <laughs> also, this is a Void Critter one. I can't remember what this specific Void Critter is called, but if every single Void Critter, or even like six or seven of them have this like pair of dungarees, I am all for it. You guys know I love the Void Critters. I tweeted about them the other day, I was like, I want to make a like custom deck of Void Critter cards. I still want to do that, like I genuinely want to look into it, um, but I fully support Void Critters and <laughs> the fact that our toddlers can now wear them is awesome. Also, this hair, Probably my favourite thing I have seen in this pack. Is this full resolution? Yes, it is. Um, but yeah, this little curly hair. It's gone now, but it's proper like tight curls. And we know that some custom content creators are gonna also make that into an adult conversion, which I cannot wait for. It's adorable. Then we have this fox onesie. So cute. Adorable. Uh, what have we got in this shot? Anything new that we can see? I mean, a new little shirt with cars on. I think this is a new item of clothing. Is this hairstyle new? Maybe, maybe not. Um, again, another Void Critter onesie dungarees right there. Some pillows. I don't think anyone can sit on these. They kind of just look like they're gonna be a decor item, but it would be pretty cool if Sims could sit on them. Um, it's very, like, outdoor orientated as well, I feel like. Um, there's definitely a lot of stuff for the outdoors. I'm not too sure what this is. This lion thing. Is it like a play area? Can your toddlers like jump on it? I don't know. This is the ball pit back here. We have the bee outfit which is so cute. The fact that they have little wings on it. And then I think this is like a superhero one because it's got like a little cape on the back. It's so cute! I love all of the clothes that comes with this. Look at her! She's doing a twirl showing off her bee outfit. Then these are probably majority of the items we're gonna get. Yeah, I'm really not too sure what this is. 
I feel like it might be like a stepping stone thing. Maybe it's just for decoration because I feel like toddlers would not be able to do that as stepping stones. I feel like they're a bit too far apart. Um, again, the cushions, which I think... Oh no, she sat on one. Sweet. So they are actually like objects. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. That makes me happy. Like I said, this is very outdoorsy. Um, obviously, you got the slide, a new dining table, uh, outdoor dining table place with some extra clutter that I have seen on Twitter. Um, what else have we got going on? So she is sat on one. This is obviously the ball pit. Toddlers can interact with it, jump into it, play around in it, all that good stuff. Uh, some more objects here by the looks of it. This is a little doll's house for all of you who didn't know. A uh, new barbecue, then also, is this a cooler? Another cooler? I just feel like this is definitely adding on to the game, which is what you guys know I like in stuff packs, like stuff that adds on to the game and isn't just like uniquely to the pack and doesn't really work with anything else. A uh, new hairstyle for the little boys and girls here. Um, Again, loads of new objects. <laughs> this is insane. We got like this parasol place. This is going to be really good for parks, I feel like. I feel like toddlers don't really get enough love at parks. They kind of like in every park I now build or add to, I will add in a sand pit and then like some extra toys for them. Uh, but that's all really they can have. However, now they have like a ball pit and they have their own adventure playground. Um, so... They can kind of join in with the kids and have their own fun on this like this is like a playground that the kids have you know like the pirate ship and the the rocket but now we have one for toddlers which is huge it's actually massive for such tiny little humans or sims i should say this is a huge ass object for them um and then they're all just playing on it they're playing pirates i think Actually, Cinderella uh, tweeted about this on Twitter. I think this is what happens when a toddler who's playing on this has quite a high imagination skill because this looks like the kind of drawings that they do in their uh, in their mind. So they're imagining like their dad is the pirate, which is so cute. The fact that adults can join in again, like the children's playground, um, very adorable. But yeah, I think that's what happens when someone's playing on it who has quite a high imagination skill. And as you can see over in this corner, like the mum is helping him up the slide, which is so cute. The fact that your parents can definitely encourage your toddlers to do their best. This girl just loves spinning. She's doing all the twirls. <laughs> so we have loads of new items here. I'm guessing this is like majority of the new items we're getting. So new shorts and tank top. Obviously the curls, which I love. The box, I, are these box braids? I want to say box braids, but I'm not too sure. She's also dressed in like a strawberry onesie, which is so cute. <laughs> a little play suit. Also, her shoes look like they have cats on them, which I am all for. Rainbow shoes and the Void Critters dungarees, um, some other plain dungarees. The, this looks like a hoodie. So maybe it's not a onesie, maybe I got that wrong. I think it is actually a hoodie by the looks of it because he's wearing jeans and this little one looks like he's wearing jeans as well. And then like new, um, a new dress as well. Such cool stuff. This is definitely, um, I want to say definitely, I'm like... I'm like 90% sure that this is like a superhero. I don't know whether toddlers will be able to imagine that they're a superhero when they're wearing this. Um, whether they'll be like a dress up box. Maybe they're reintroducing that in toddler stuff. I'm not too sure. The cooler that we saw in the last like couple of frames, that might actually be a dressing up box. Don't quote me on it. I don't really know what's coming, um, but hopefully they can imagine they're like a superhero. This is obviously um, one of the main focuses, like the ball pit is one of the main features of this pack, I feel like. As I said, clutter items, new rugs. Maybe we can actually have like picnics now. Maybe these are like picnic rugs. They don't look like they work like picnic rugs in The Sims 3 where you click on it and you're like, have a picnic. But I mean, if they're big enough and like Sims can sit on them and like 
sit on the floor maybe and eat there, then it'll work like a picnic mat, I guess you could say. I still have no idea what these are. I feel like they are just going to be for decoration, but we'll just have to wait and see uh, when the pack actually comes out. So that's toddler stuff. Uh, like I said, coming August the 24th. I will obviously be covering the gameplay and also create some items in this stuff pack on my channel like I usually do with every pack. And also there is actually a live stream. Simguru Graham and Simguru Drake are doing a live stream. I think that is this Friday. Let me just find... Uh, her tweet on it and see yes so the live stream will be this friday at 12 p.m pacific time so note that in your diaries if you want to join in on the sims 4 live stream to check out this pack uh, but i'm very excited you guys know i love my family gameplay and i'm gonna be keeping rory in my parenthood <laughs> let's play as a toddler for a little while so we can kind of check this out in game too but thank you all so much for watching this kind of step-by-step -step on the toddler stuff trailer. I hope you all enjoyed. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Leave your comments down below on whether you'll be getting this pack, whether you're excited for it. I definitely feel like it's gonna be worth the money just looking at like how many objects are in it and the fact that it's not totally focused on toddlers either. Like they are the main focus. However, there are also objects just to enhance your game and your outdoor areas such as your back gardens or parks so i feel like this is going to be worth the money but i'll be talking about that all in my like overview and first look but thank you guys for watching and i will speak to you all in my next video bye guys